YouTube. This is my Nook Color running Cyan Engine Mod 7.2. Um, as you can see, it's running the, uh, of course, if you're not familiar with Cyan Engine Mod, it's a custom Android software operating system. Um, I completely overwrote Barnes & Noble's uh, stock software. It's uh, not running from the SD card. And it is running pretty good. Um, unfortunately, as I was about to do this review, the um, sleep of death issue occurred, which is when the device, for some reason, puts itself into suspend, or it turns the screen off, or if even if you hit it, and it just doesn't wake back up. Um, I noticed it was all the way down to 15% uh, life, so it might have something to do with the built-in uh, power saver software that might come with CyanogenMod 7.2 because I noticed it was exactly at 15 but I don't know that might have just been a coincidence because sometimes it runs out uh, completely without power so it's still having the uh, sleep of death issue unfortunately um, I haven't had the problem in about two weeks so this was a pretty pretty big shock to me I left uh, I left as you can see here I left Bluetooth on and I left Wi-Fi on, which of course is what people are saying are, is causing the sleep of death issues or not shutting the screen off properly. There's a number of different things and it still has never been solved. But um, overall though, this device has been fantastic. I'm still debating whether or not I should keep it or get a Nexus 7, which of course, as you know, is a, the new 7-inch by Google that's coming out. Um, so I just wanted to run you through some of the things on here that are really cool. And of course, a big shout out to the XDA forums. I've got my little app right there. And Netflix, of course, is right next to it. <laughs> um, it's working pretty well. Um, one of the things I've noticed that, that, that really was improved from 7.1 to 7.2 is the functionality. I, I don't get nearly as much crashes on the ADW launcher at all. Um, it, it, it literally hasn't crashed almost at all my gaming screen right there um, so that's that's a really really big plus that it, it just doesn't crash it's, it's a lot more stable they had they had a tremendous amount of fixes from 7.1 to 7.2 um, and overall it's been pretty good it's just literally the sleep of death issue but I can just hit music you know like that boom it should play I also have the nook tools um, add-on nook tweaks excuse me right there Nook Tweaks allows you to uh, boost your, your, your device's audio level. And it should boot up with music right now. Whoop, whoop. And that doesn't do it justice. The speaker on this thing is terrible, but that's what you get for playing it on the back. I always talk about these devices, people making these things, because the speaker is always on the back, which doesn't make any sense because our ears are obviously not in back of the device so it really doesn't really give you a very good sound at all so I recommend headphones always um, so that feature works fine and for those wondering what mod that is that's um, Zillia Live Light Zillia Light Live or whatever works really good recommend that and I have a background changer right now too you'll notice that went to the Legend of Zelda my to-do list right there. Um, overall, the operation of this thing is flawless. Uh, let's see. And Bluetooth does work fine. Um, I will have another video, too, of showing me playing Bluetooth games. Uh, let me see. What else did I want to show you? Yahoo Mail, of course, is so imperfect it's not even funny. That's on every Android device. Let's see. OnLive works pretty good. Let's see. Just to give you a good example, let's try Fruit Ninja. This game I've literally had almost no problems with. I'll try to run it with one hand. Just takes a second to boot. I'm just trying to open up Paint so we can play people. Ooh. Try to get the 
layer out. Sorry about that. I know all the videos on the internet are terrible. There is a little bit of lag. The average people probably wouldn't notice it playing this game. Um, for, for like almost a first generation chip when it comes to this stuff, I think it's pretty damn good. Because this is not what the device was intended for. You have to remember that. It's intended to be a book reader, not anything sophisticated like this. And maybe run a simple few things like Netflix, I believe the first gen the color was able to run. But this is really going above and beyond. And just so you know too, I don't have the device overclocked. It's running at um, 800 megahertz. Every time I overclocked, I, and even adjusting voltage levels and such, it just never really... Oh, Jesus. It never really got the stability that I was really looking for. So I basically took that off. In fact, every time I overclocked, YouTube actually ran slower. Netflix ran slower, so obviously something was wrong with the settings, which was probably on my end, but however, so there you have it right there. It's actually running pretty decently. Um, Google Apps is fully installed, and so is the App Store, as you can see right there from uh, Amazon, which works flawless. By the way, you should have that on every Android device. In my second video, I'll be showing uh, Bluetooth, how Bluetooth works, and how stable it is, and um, myself gaming with it. Thank you very much.